made this one and I also made this one. Those were my starter ones a couple years ago. I've kind of advanced onto a newer models which are easier to put in and take care of. So uh, if you've got any questions, uh, I'm glad to tell you what how they work. Yeah, I've got some questions. So what's the main purpose of these things? This is to get the weeds and the stuff out of lake water that plugs up filters and it it plugs up uh, sprinklers and yeah. And so so, so I would use it. I would use it for lake for this really for watering your lawn from when getting getting water from your lake or pond. Yeah. Right. This this not, is no uh, this is no filter as far as consumption of water by people. So not no not for drinking water, just for watering your lawn or right. I don't know if there's other uses for it, but that's the main use, right? That would be water. it, and uh, it, it takes that lake water, which doesn't have much iron in it, like you get with uh, groundwater, will probably leave stains on the building and so on. This normally doesn't have that much iron in, in uh, lake water. Right. But uh, I found by using these uh, containers, that is made by sterling plastics, and uh, I've taken, used those to hold the pea rock. This one holds a little over a gallon of pea rock, which weighs about 10 pounds per gallon. So it's it's hefty. It'll stay placed on the, in the lake and uh, yeah, easy to uh, take out and re-clean. I added another filter on top of it just to help keep the big weeds from plugging up the screen, the screen part. So that's a, an additional thing that you can put on. And then I use these rubber bands made from an old inner tube and uh, that holds it down. As you can see, all this has got pea rock all around it so it, it'll easily uh, equal to the two inch size opening. So that makes a good filter, probably better than the ones you can buy in the, like in hardware stores and, and uh, uh, Menards or you know those kinds of stores, right? And those are pretty simple. This is a little more, yeah, com a little more complex and probably better. I think so better. because uh, you can clean them. You just take this is a pea rock, you take and you uh, want the pea rock. You get the sand out of it if you buy it at a gravel yard or something, so that it's quarter. I claim it's about quarter inch, and. Uh, that works. That's the big filter part to it. Yes. But mm -hmm. if you get it clogged up with stuff, you just take and dump it out and clean it and put it back in. So, so it never wears out. So that's one advantage of it over the other filters you can buy. And then also, I suppose you've got different sizes too. So if you need if you need more water flow. You yeah. can achieve that with yeah. these. Yeah, these well, are right? these are about 15 gallons a minute they'll produce, and that's okay. with a half horse uh, shallow well pump. They'll handle 15 gallons a minute. I have this larger one here, which is the same idea, only it's got over twice as much openings, and that's got a good top on it. How how much water does that? handle. This will handle 30 gallons a minute by, its, by itself in a single. And there are two. We use a filter like this on top. Okay. Our, you can even lay it inside, but I think it works better on the outer surface. It keeps it more open for if you're in a weed bed with this filter. Right. And uh, your attachment is on the front. Here you this is a two inch pipe and it'll, any plastic two inch fittings will work to hook onto your check valve and so on. These I have a half inch uh, male adapter that sits on there and I don't glue that onto this part. I put a screw in there so that it's easier to take off right. and when you want to clean it and so on. Okay. 
And another thing that the that you can do with these, I understand, is is uh, if you need to re take the the filter out of the lake in the fall, if you if you live in a climate where the lake freezes, all you have to do is pull the line. You don't even have to go in the water to get it, right? You just pull it in. Yeah, I'd say take it loose from the pump and just pull in on the hose, and it'll slide along the bottom. Right. And uh, that yeah. makes it easier. The check valve goes right on this point, and then you'll have to secure that either with a set screw or you could glue part of it. But I don't recommend gluing on these fittings so that you can take it all apart if you like. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So that's what I've got that's new. These you could put together with a, with a a T or a cross, and you could put two of these, and you'd get 60 gallons. And if you got three of them together, you'd get uh, about uh, about 90 gallons a minute. Yeah. So you, with a bigger pump, you could move a lot of water. Yeah. And uh, they uh, don't have to be in such deep water either. This thing is only about eight inches high, and as long as you're above the wave level, you're uh, going to yeah. have something that stays put. And So they seem like they would work well, and, and I know you with the other filters you've done in the past, and these would be the same, they don't plug up either. They stay pretty clear and they keep pumping water, or you can keep yeah, pumping water through them. I've, I've sold a lot in Canada last year and different states in the east, and uh, I've had no complaints at all. And, and I know, I think you test, you had a friend locally who tested one out and ran it, was it for two years? Two years, and that was one of fun. these type. Uh, and uh, it got pretty dirty, but it was cleanable. Yeah, but it kept working. It was still working. Yeah, too, it, right? it worked all summer. And I think these other ones would pretty much work the same. It's just that they're easier to take out. They're, they're a little more compact and probably yeah. just a little bit easier to work I, with. I think so. And uh, so if you give it a try, you yeah. let me know how you like them. Cause yeah. And we can get them on where you order. You can order it on the website, and then you ship them out, right? Right. So yeah. the, the LakeWaterFilters.com website, and we'll put that on the screen. So um, and then you can pay by credit card. I guess that's the usual right. way. Right. That's yeah. way through uh, PayPal is the yeah. my uh, account. Yeah. You just click the click the link, and there's an order form on the website. So okay. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Okay.